is from a photo. Yeah, um, it was a commission to do um, an album cover for Brian Wilson, and um, I, I got this far with it, and then they decided they didn't want a portrait anyway. So, so it's quite unfinished. You, the, you, you can see where the, the underpainting, mm. and then I started it again, and then put it to one side. But it's from. Is it done with um, photographed and traced? On a light box or the first or projector. You know, or what I what I do now is is I use if, use a found photograph, and then I photocopy it to the size I want to work, and then um, trace that. You use that as the tracing, and then use a transfer paper. So you can see little bits of yeah, colour. See, it, you see it, the yeah. lines, yeah. Little bits in the so, ear. So that gives hand. that gives me the drawing and the likeness, and then I try to make it look. Look like denim, for instance, or, or mm. try to make it work. What did they go with in the end? If they didn't, what did they choose in the end? If they didn't choose. Um, it, it, I did it eventually. It was it was called um, getting in over my head, and it was a series. He did it with other guests, and it was a series. It was like a scene in an American town, but each song was an incident. Nice. Yeah. Are you pleased with that then? If it's if yeah, it feels I, incomplete. Yeah, I will be. I'm pleased with it as far as it's gone, and, and you know, it'll be nice. Do you think you'll leave it or keep going with no, it? No, I'll, I'll keep going, yeah. And then this one, um, Stu was um, the a founder member of the Rolling Stones, and when, when they began to get famous, they decided that he wasn't handsome enough, so he still played the piano. It's like a bit Morrissey about his jawline in that yeah, painting. Yeah, he played behind a curtain, and, oh, and, and, then, and then they dropped him all together. <laughs> and that, that was quite album. cruel. It is, yeah, it is cool. And I think he died, died quite. You get a similar finish with this is watercolour, isn't it? Yeah, you get a similar, almost painting by numbers finish. It you, is. It's than exactly, you do with the acrylics as well. Exa exactly the process. It's filling in, but it's then trying to make something. You're still having to think about depth. Mm. Yeah, so you're still thinking about where it is in space. And, and did you do painting numbers as a kid? I did. Yeah, I I, I bought one about. Um, about five years ago, and it, they're incredibly difficult. I tried to do it and couldn't. Now I've, no, I've never given it a go. <laughs> I remember. Did you, did you ever get those? They were black and white, and the black was felt, and you had to draw with them. I did a few of those. Yeah, I like yeah. those because yeah. you couldn't really go wrong. It's just the black felt would stop you. And then and this, that's the Everly Brothers, and um, Don is the godfather to our daughter um, Rose. And when th this was for an album cover, too, and um, this was rejected as well, um, because at that point, Don was quite. I got photographs of them, and Don was even even plumper than that. And I brought the cheeks in about a quarter of an inch. Still, still I flattered pleased. him a bit, <laughs> but it was still too. I think he didn't realise how how big he'd how become. He'd in, you know, yeah. so, but they reject so, so they're both rejections. Did you get the, the commission in the end? Did they use another one of your No, pieces? they used a photograph. Uh, the same happened with Robbie Williams. I did, did a portrait of, of Robbie and then... What um, album was that for? It, um, get, um, the swing one. Swing, oh, yeah. swing when you're winning. Yeah. Um, they gave me a set of photographs and I did the portrait and everybody liked it. You and Robbie liked it. The, the, the manager liked it. And somewhere along the line, somewhere in an office somewhere, they said, no, we, we don't, we're not going to use it. And they used the photograph I'd worked from. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's rock and roll. And it's the yeah. Have you worked with the music business? I've done, yeah, I've done an album cover, and yeah. I'm not sure. It's difficult. Isn't Very it? difficult. Yeah. yeah. Very difficult. I would have thought someone of your stature, though, wouldn't have. Well, this was some time ago. Um, but no, but, but the, even, in the recent ones you've done, have you met the same music industry? Not rubbish? for a while, no. No, um, well, this is what th it is. That was some Ex years except. ago. Yeah, n now I think um, they by, by the time they I to agree do to do it and we do it, it you know, they wouldn't turn it down now, mm. I think. How many, how many covers have you done that have been rejected then? Because you've done loads. About six rejected. Rejects? Yeah. That's amazing. One for, um, one for Steel I Span, because they were, they were a group that they all had a, a say in, in you know, what happened. And one one of them didn't like it. So, can't believe that one. This is my old friend Ian Dury, um, and and this that was a book cover. I think that was quite a recent book jacket. But again, you know, as you as you said, it's taken from a, 
a photograph, but then... Uh, Is that again, when you said you photocopy it to size that you want? Yeah. That's quite small to work from. Yeah. Is that, I suppose it just dictates... I quite like working small. I mean, they're not in this show because this is a selection, but there were a group of tattooed people that were... You know, the paper. I saw on, yeah, I saw the show here. They were on that one. Oh, you yeah, saw that, yeah. yeah. So they were really quite tiny. Mm. Is it all water, yeah, the, do you only work watercolour when it comes that small? Do you find it easier? Yeah, I, I like working um, you, in, in watercolour anyway. And, and it, it's much easier to do watercolour small than oil painting. How's the lettering done on that? Is that paint? That, that's a, they're, they're Victorian, like a um, Victorian word games. So people always assume it's the other word game. Well, scrab like Scrabble pieces. Yeah, so they, they assume they're Scrabble. So if people rip me off, they use Scrabble. But they're in fact um, Victorian. I wanted to ask you about your collections. Yeah. What are you collecting at the moment? At the moment... Um, I'm still. I'm doing. A I saw an amazing photo. In your, I think it's in your studio of two shells oh, covered oh, in elephants. I've, I've kind of cut back on collect, collecting a bit because I've shown three or four. You know, I did a show called the Museum of Everything, that was the collection. I did a show in Bath. So um, at the moment, I suppose I'm collecting nautical stuff because I've. I've um, redesigned the ferry in Liverpool mm. as, a, the one as, that's a, the as a dazzle ship yeah. and then in conjunction with that later in the year um, it's the Biennale in Liverpool and um, I'm putting on a show of my collection of maritime stuff which I didn't realise I had one. It'll be at the Maritime Museum. In Liverpool? Yeah but it'll be, it'll be under the Tate's yeah, they're on, kind of, their umbrella family. That's right, yeah. Where are you collecting the stuff from? Is it just... Just if I see it. Shops everywhere. Yeah, yeah I saw something on You're television. You're quite a good shopper. Um, I, I, I haven't actually gone looking for it in this case. Stuff at the moment? No. Mm. What are these ones? The, 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 these are... Um, oh, you can, these are, you can actually see the physical letters that you've used to like... The, 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 the background, um, I, I was asked in residence at the Tate, um, and I did a whole series which were just studies. So, so uh, the, um, a, a lot of them were very unfinished, so I worked over them. So these are all fictitious wrestlers. Are they composites of people? I remember yeah. hearing that. The, the mask is usually a photograph I took of Kendo Nagasaki. It's the same mask. But they're, yeah, they're, this, they're, this mask? Yeah. And, and oh, yeah, that's the same appears, mask. Yeah. And, and uh, there are others that, that are the same. Yeah, but, um, so they're invented... Um, professional wrestlers. Are these the actual Victorian letters? Yeah, these are the actual ones from the... For the, 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 the game be like... So I've got the, the game be like Scrabble? Yeah. You make words with it, yeah. And then, I as I say, they're fictitious. I think he's only Olympus because that was the, I only had a Greek flag left. <laughs> so I decided to do, And I, I like the old Japanese okay, I was just going to ask you about in terms of collage for your work. Even your paintings a collage because they're sort of composite yeah. of loads well, of different aspects. Well, it, I, I collect, um, yeah, I've got the kind of library of, of, um, of photographs you, that I cut out from newspapers and some I've taken myself. And, and so in a portrait, the eyes with this originally, when I was at the National Gallery, was, was a Gauguin. So, so I've kept the yellow from the Gauguin, the painting by Gauguin. And then it'll be the nose from one person and the eyes from another. And you know, then I invented this curious... So those police photo fits. Yeah, different exactly. It's exactly yeah. like a photo. And that's why you get that odd kind of um, almost uncomfortable mm. thing of sometimes the mouth being... Sort of half reality. Yeah, half you're too big or too mm. small. Or, why, do you think, why do you think you choose to, even with your paintings, to work in a collage way? Is it... You just sort of filter. It's of a all process these. that's just developed. You know, I mean, I, I've, I've done very few. Um, I mean, if they're straight portraits, it's the one picture I take, and then I work from that. Mm. And, What's the next one? and then the, these these are, are very unfinished, but um, and they were. Sh I think it does. Yeah, it does say that they're in progress, but they're. I oh, yeah, it says start date ninety seven. Trying to work out. I think he's fighting him in the same fight. So that's Sugar Ray Robinson. I think that's Carmen Basilio, but I'm not quite sure. And, and so, so 
So that's that's. Are they, are they still from love. footage? Yeah, they're from. But I used to take Ring magazine, so you got these rather kind of um, primitive black and white photographs of, mm. of uh, on very bad newsprint paper. The really pixelated so sort of color half tone. That's right. Dot yeah, matrix, yeah. yeah. So, so I want I wanted to keep that 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 quality, but that that's the most finished. And I, and I think that could almost well, stay as it is. You know, I think that doesn't really need. You capture the essence of yes, the, the spray. Yeah, the spray of yeah. sweat. Yeah, yeah the, I suppose bacon would have been a, an influence behind me. You, you the goriness I, of them. Yeah, and and the unfinishedness of them, and and the paint quality, mm. bacon and sicker. You know, they, yeah, they're lovely. But I've done a whole, a whole lot of others of boxing, of, of, a, a lot of Joe Louis, I've done about six. I was going to ask about the wrestling thing as well. Do, do you go to wrestling? Um, I used to when it existed, yeah. I mean, there's very, very, the, very little that now. American WWE. And I watch the American on television, but that, that, that's much more theatre. I mean, there's, there's more talking than there is wrestling. It's more of a sitcom, isn't it? Rather it than is, it's exactly that. Yeah. Do you Fascinating. Do you go to the boxing often? Um, again, I haven't been for a while, but uh, I, I did um, a photo shoot about a month ago with Anthony Joshua, mm -hmm. you know, who won the super heavyweight um, in the Olympics, and he's now a professional. So I'll go to see his next fight. Amazing. So, but that, um, did you shoot him? No, uh, uh, it's for Vogue, so a photographer did, you the, designed whole, yeah, did the whole thing. Are these, are these, again, fictional wrestlers? Another group of fictional wrestlers, yeah. And, and, and again, what we talked about, the, you know, the idea of, of the um, library of images is, is much clearer here. Cause that, that one, for instance, is, um, it started off being Brad Pitt, and then I changed the, the nose to a, the nose of a, a rugby player, and then added the hat. And so it, so I, I don't want it to look like Brad Pitt, mm. but he was the right character for... for you for see the, it, the jawline. Yeah. Jawline all, all, all American mouth. jawline, yeah. yeah. And I think that, was, that started off being Morgan Freeman. And hair then, on that's great. And then Fine. changed to... Uh, uh, he had white hair at one point, and then it went black again. Are these watercolour as well? These yeah. are watercolours, yeah. And then this, this is a considerate boy, is, is what Max Miller, the comedian, it, that, that was what he used to call gay men. He used to say those considerate boys, which is a beautiful <laughs> description of a gay man. Isn't it? Looking now, they all look like they could be gay puns. Well, that's, a, that's a, gay, a gay comment, and that's certainly a gay comment. Okinawa Red it very much isn't gay. And in the catalogue, um, the faces, it, you know, was, was one was taken to a certain point. And then that's the same nose. Yes, that's as, as the same Jake, kink in it. Yeah, same, same break. And that, I also gave her a black eye. And they kind of... Do you know who the, that starting base was for that one? There's two or three different faces. The hair is one, I think, a fashion model. And the face was another different model. And I have great pleasure in doing the mouths, you know, making it really look like... Mm. Look like um, the way they're presented as well must look like football stickers or collector's cards with the name and the nationality underneath. Is that intentional? Yeah, a bit, yeah. It'd be great to be little collector stuff, little cards. Well, the, 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 these are print, you know, I've made these into prints as well. So, so when they're in a, you know, when they're um, like this a size in a box, they become they something else. Like, yeah. Yeah. Tattoos are a recurring theme. Yeah, well. the, the, the were, um, in, in the show, there were a whole group of, um, of tattooed people. Um, but they, they all sold in the shows. This show is a small version of the bigger show. Of that one. The, the last two months has been in the gallery. So this is just a selection from that show. But tattooing has been... Do you have any tattoos? No. But it's been an ongoing interest from some of the, the very first work I did as an art student in the 40s has, has tattoos. In. But they're very of that era, that sort of... They're very naval, traditional, yeah. yeah. You know, patriotic ones and mm. roses and mum and stuff like this that. This one looks, strikes me it could be Julia Roberts. Do you remember? There's an element of that. Yeah. It actually is. It's another but actress. But, um, 
But there's an element there's of that. There's a hint there, there's a hint, huh? So wrestling is still a, an interest. And this, this font is, is that the sort of traditional army stencil Yes, the, 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 these, um, I did on, um, I do, these days I do quite a lot of work on the computer, which I can't work, but I work with somebody else. So this is a stencil mm. letter, which I use quite often, but done on, on the computer. Do you not use computers at all? I, I can't. I've got a, an iPad, but I, I, it's very, I'm very... No, I can't, mm. if I'm honest. Have you tried? No. You know it's yet? too late. It does not interest it, It's too late. To, I'm interested, but then it's too late to learn, in, mm. in a way. That's a whole new thing to it attempt is. to master, isn't it? I mean, it? I'm fascinated with the whole process, but um, when someone else can do it, it's, it's like having an assistant. Mm. Someone else can do it better than I could anyway. Do you have many assistants? Um, no, I don't have any. No, Just someone to help I go to things. CCA um, prints and make prints and um, work with someone called Ed there. And then Dan Fain at Dark Matter, I work with him. So I work with two different people who are very good on the computer. Mm. I was thinking if someone knows what they're doing, you they might as well oh, absolutely. Let, them, let them go on with that. Yeah. Yeah. And then this group were part of the work at the National Gallery at UNR's Arts in Residence. I did 10 paintings of the prettiest women in the National Gallery. And so, uh, but they covered kind of Van Eyck and Holbein's um, Queen of Denmark, you know, that very beautiful. So I, I focused right in on the face. So this, this was a series of much, these focus of much larger paintings. Yeah, just took the faces mm. and, and, and cropped right in on them. So these are three different dwarfs from paintings by Velasquez. And I think I was, I was, I was playing with the idea of using paint thicker. I mean, I've always painted very thinly and, and quite... Because that's quite unusual, isn't it? Very unusual. Style. But it, it, I mean, it was using Kremnitz white, which is the white that Lucian Freud used to make a texture. And then you build up on... And then build, build so it's it up. it's essentially flat on that anyway, yeah. so just the surface isn't yeah. flat. So, so really it was just to satisfy the, a satisfy a desire to, to use scratch the, the itch, paint. but yeah. didn't, didn't, didn't longer. So are, these, are these complete? Because they've got an essence of the boxes. That aren't again, they, they, they were unfinished um, was complete at, at the time, but I've were. decided that they, they went far enough. And then this one, there are, there are two versions of this. It, it's, called, it's called the twins in their tea garden. And when I lived down in Somerset, there were two girls who, who were twins who ran the tea garden. And every time you saw them, they looked different. So you'd see them and they'd look like children. And then you'd see them in kind of granny gear and they'd look like old ladies. So I started this one <coughs> and it, it would have had um, then right through from being babies, right through to, to the time then. But I got this far. A, a, a Japanese dealer called Nishimura saw it and said, can I buy that? And I said, well, it's not unfinished. And he said, when will it be finished? And I said, about a year. And you know, the Japanese are very precise. So in a year's time, he said, right, I want it now or I don't want to buy it. So I let this one go and then did another version with the babies and all the other. Versions. This one he bought? This is the one he bought, yeah. Was he pleased? Um, obviously not, because it's back. Oh. It's, it's back in, <laughs> so over the years, it's back in the gallery now. So and the other one... It's quite flat. In its, yeah, you can imagine these each independently being paintings in themselves. Yeah, like the different I mean, areas. Are still like. But, but these, the second one, I mean, in the window, there are two versions of the girls actually um, making love. And then there are two of them as old ladies, two as babies. I think there are two little girls who are about eight standing there. So it tells their whole mm. life, life story. What did they do to twins? Did you ever, I have no you idea. Find out I didn't this? even really know them. Just I just used to see them in Bath. And I went to the tea garden once. With that was quick imagination. But this is one of a, seri you know, a series of pictures this size, and I think for this show, it's, it's gallery stock, but we thought we'd show That's it again. That's a good size, though, isn't it? Yeah, nice size. And then... Um, <coughs> I've not seen much of your sculptural stuff no, before. No, I've, I've always done sculpture, um, and no one's any, 
no one's ever shown the least interest in it. So I always put some sculptures in the show. The, I, the last show had, had a series um, of galleons with battles going on, but, they, but one had two found galleons, but, uh, but it was cowboys and Indians. So it was cowboys on one galleon and Indians on another galleon. So the irony of, of that. You know. But this, this one, great. Um, I, I had this whole collection of um, cigar boxes and always thought... I was say, did you smoke these or they just... I never smoked. Things no, that are found. No, I, I just had them. And I, I always thought they were beautiful. What could I do Is with that them? a bull, these ones, the black ones? So, some are... Uh, they're, they're miniature bowls. Yeah. I've done other sculptures using full, the full-size bowls. So Funny, they're like a, an army or a family. The, the, I, I think this is called crowd. It's a cra crowd of people. But I've done a family, um, and I've done, I've done armies too. Yeah. Do you wish you could do more sculptural stuff? That no, I still do it, although no one is interested in it. I, when I feel the need to make a sculpture, mm. I do. You know, so I've made a lot. Yeah, I think people make their mind up, don't they, and they want... Yeah, I think I, that often happens they, with artists, they decide that they get you're the a gender. Painter, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they don't realise you, you make sculpture and that's mm. that. And then this, this really is just in as an example of, of I mean, that's an actual collage. Is it? Is it all real? Oh, so it all is, these yeah. fish are cut out and, you know, to this kind of degree. Are they all from? Um, Var various, um, um, I think. Different one, found books and stuff. Yeah, different um, natural history books. And then the crowd in the foreground. You know, it's from various sources. But, but it, look at that, I mean, for, for crazy cutting out. Mm. So Is she scalpeling them all? Scalp, scissors. Um, and for the four intricate bits of scalpel. Yeah, the four intricate bits of scalpel and, and the internal cutting out. Is the background just two separate pieces of paper? That's yeah. right, Very disguised. So, so, I mean, when you know it's disguised. Oh, yeah, you can see now the seam. Yeah, yeah, the seam runs right down. Yeah. I didn't even notice that actually. I thought I was talking about the, the lighter green and darker green. No, there's, there isn't that way. But yeah. There's also that's a piece of paper and that's a piece of paper. Now you've disguised it well with the long, the long. Well, as I say, when you stand back and you know it's a scene, it's it a, it's a symmetry. Very though, isn't it? Yeah. That, that's very obvious. Yeah. So really, I mean, this this show is about. I suppose it's about showing some of the things I do. You know, mm. so so I've been doing. Um, a lot of other types of this things. This is what you've become synonymous with, isn't it? The yeah, that's collage. one of the areas I've, I've, I'm known for, isn't it? They're great. Good. Well, nice to show you the show. Yeah, thank you very much. My pleasure. A real pleasure.